This video is on taking a sample exam so that you can prepare for your midterm next class. So let's go over to assignments, go to the very bottom, and you'll see your sample exam to test. So let us, actually let me just go into student preview. All right, so let's go to assignments, at the very bottom, sample exam to test. All right, so, um, let's take a look at the instructions. Um, this is a time test. This test has a time limit of five minutes once you begin. Your real exam will have a time limit of 90 minutes, so 9-0. And this one is just a sample exam, so five minutes to do it. You'll see the counter at the top showing you how much time you have left once we begin. So this test will save and submit automatically when the time expires. So if you take more than five minutes to do the sample test, um, at the end of five minutes, if you're not done, it would just save whatever you have entered and submit it. Same as your um, real uh, midterm exam on Thursday, you will have 90 minutes to um, work on the exam. And if you take longer than that, whatever you have done so far, the exam will be automatically saved and then submitted. So you do not have more than 90 minutes, um, no matter what you do. And once you start the exam, it must be completed in one sitting. So you cannot pause the exam and go somewhere else and then unpause and come back. You do you cannot leave the uh, you cannot leave the test before clicking save and submit. All right, so uh, you have to do this all in one sitting. There is no pause. All right, so multiple attempts. So this is a sample uh, exam. So you can you know try doing this multiple times. But the real exam, you can only do it once. Okay, so because this is a sample test. So if you like to get comfortable with the online exam and you want to practice a couple of times, you can definitely do that with this sample exam. All right, so click begin to start uh, and click cancel to go back to where you were. So let's begin. So begin to start your exam. So let's pretend this is your real exam and let's click begin. You will begin with a password. So the password for this exam I have given to you is exam EX. AM exam. The password for your real exam, I'll give it to you on Thursday when we meet on Zoom. Okay, and let's continue. Submit. All right. Um, it asked me to save it. I'm not going to save it. All right, so this is all the same. Um, this is all the same information. This, this is a time test. Warnings are going to appear during half the time. So, it, you know, two and a half minutes, five minutes, one minute, and 30 seconds remain. Um, once started, it must be completed in one sitting. Don't leave the test. And uh, one thing to note here, this test does not allow backtracking. So you're shown one answer at a time. Uh, you cannot, you should not skip the question because you cannot go back to this question once you skip it. If you do not give an answer, this is going to be a zero. Okay, so you must complete each answer uh, as you see it. Okay, so if you don't know it, then, you know, you should enter something anyway because you cannot go back to it. So changes to the answer after submission are prohibited. So if you do, if you do question one and then you move on to question two, uh, then you decide that you want to change question one. That is not possible. Okay, you only have one chance at each question and you'll see it one at a time. Okay, so your answers are saved automatically. Uh, you can also go save answer here if you want. So moving to the next question prevents changes to this answer. So this is a multiple choice answer, uh, question. Choose only one answer. I'm going to choose answer one. And I have to be sure about that. And I cannot change it once I move on to the next question. Okay. So I have to be sure about it. I cannot move on, move back to this question after I'm done. And if I leave it blank, I cannot come back here and change the blank answer. Okay, so now it's saved. It says it's saved here, and I'm going to move on to the next one. So moving to the next question prevents changes to this answer, so you have to be sure and move on to the next one. Now you cannot go back to question one. At the very top here, you see that I have time remaining, three minutes and four seconds. Okay, so this shows me how much time I have left. If you expand this, it shows me how many questions I have left. So please check all the answers that are true. It may be more than one. It may be one or more than one. So this is a multiple answer question. Okay, so please check all the answers that are true. So it might only be one that is true, or it might be two, or it might be three, or it might be four. So I gave you the answer here. For this question, the answer is one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And you can save answer if it hasn't been saved yet, and then go 
next question. Okay, so make sure that this is checked green every time. Now I have two minutes and 24 seconds. So this is an example of a long answer question. You would just enter your answer here. My, I enter my answer here. Okay, and then when you're done, you save it and then you move on to the next one. And finally, the other type of question that you see is true or false. So check whether this statement is true or false. I'll check true and then I'll save answer. And then this is the last one you can see here. Okay, one, two, three, four, there is no more. So I can now save and submit. If I take too long, then I'll get some warnings appear. Okay. Um, one minute warning, 30 seconds remain, and so on. So if you're in the middle of something and you have one minute or 30 seconds, just make sure you finish up what you're writing, go save, and then submit it. And here we go, save and submit. So test submission confirmation, click to cancel. If you're not sure you wanna submit, you can cancel, or okay to resubmit, okay? Uh, or okay to submit, not resubmit, so okay to submit. And here it is, test saved and submitted, and it shows me when it was submitted. And now you are done, and you can press OK, and you're done with the exam. So if you have any questions about taking your sample exam, please run through it a few, um, a few times. If you're still not sure how it works, um, you know, get a hold of me, and I can help walk you through this. Make sure that you practice this a few times before your actual exam on Thursday.